In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to register and protect Google G Suite's Gmail and Google Drive apps from external and internal threats using SonicWall Cloud App Security. CAS's API-based technology makes protecting G Suite easy without the need to change things like MX records, so both administrators and end users can enjoy a seamless onboarding experience. There are two prerequisites for the setup process. The first is access to SonicWall Capture Security Center through cloud.sonicwall.com using your MySonicWall credentials. If you don't have a MySonicWall account, you can quickly sign up for one for free. You'll also need administrative level credentials for your G Suite business, enterprise, or education account. We'll begin by logging into SonicWall Capture Security Center with our MySonicWall credentials. We'll select the specific tenant or group we want Cloud App Security to protect, then select the CAS SaaS Security tile which will launch the Cloud App Security onboarding wizard. We'll click Let's Get Started to begin, which takes us to the SaaS selection screen, where we're presented with all the SaaS applications we can protect with CAS. The SaaS applications available to you will be based on the CAS package you've purchased and app availability. You can choose to enable multiple SaaS applications at once or enable a single app and secure different SaaS apps at a later time. We want to protect our G Suite applications, so we'll start with Gmail. The first step in the process is to install CAS across our organization's domain using the G Suite Marketplace. So clicking the Start button takes us to the Google Authentication screen. CAS always relies on direct authentication through Google and will never store your Google credentials. After we enter our credentials, we're taken to the Cloud App Security page in the Marketplace. Domain install is the only option for CAS, so we'll click the button to begin installing CAS for every user in our domain and enable the API access we need to protect our users and their data. Domain-wide installs may take up to 24 hours for Google to complete, depending on the size of your organization. Most installs complete much more quickly, but be sure to factor installation time into your plans, especially if you're protecting thousands of users. We'll click Continue, which opens the Google Access Verification dialog. Be sure to take time to understand the permissions you're granting, and to read and understand the terms of service and privacy policies. We'll click the I Agree checkbox, then the Accept button, which completes the installation and adds Cloud App Security to the list of apps available in the Google Apps Launcher. Switching back to the CAS console shows that the application is still waiting for authorization. We'll complete that process by clicking the newly installed SonicWall Cloud App icon in the App Launcher. When we navigate back to the CAS console, we're presented with the Gmail Group Selection dialog box. The Groups options dictate how CAS licenses are assigned to your users. All organization assigns CAS licenses to all your users, up to your license user count, while the Specific Group option is the most efficient way to protect a subset of users. You can find more information about how these options affect license assignment in the Cloud App Security Administration Guide. We'll choose the Group option, enter an accessible group email address, and click OK to complete the CAS installation for Gmail. And since we've already completed authorization and app installation for Gmail, we can also enable advanced threat protection for Google Drive files with a click of one additional button. Now that we've finished selecting and setting up our apps, we'll click Next to begin the final stage of installation. Clicking the Start Now button will kick off the initial setup process, which can take some time to complete depending on the number of users and volume of stored data. During that time, CAS automatically configures the necessary API and journal rules within G Suite. CAS also performs an historical data scan, going back through five days of protected users' emails, implements DLP policies to protect sensitive data sharing, and uploads all G Suite files to capture advanced threat protection, SonicWall's cloud-based multi-engine sandbox, for a complete scan to detect any latent threats. The CAS dashboards won't display data during the setup process, but you're free to modify policies and use the console while the scans are underway in the background. All these processes get kicked off by clicking the Start Now button, so it's that easy to get up and running. Clicking Start also takes us to the CAS dashboard, where we can monitor progress by hovering over the Status Indicator. The Status Indicator will also notify us if the process runs into any errors. As the processes begin to complete, you'll begin to see information like active user counts and the number of scanned emails. Once all the background processes have completed, the status indicator will change to a green checkmark, and CAS will generate an email to the administrator saying that the onboarding process completed successfully and that the default policy is in effect. And that's it. 
With just a few easy steps, we're protecting Google G Suite apps with next-gen security. To learn how cloud app security can help your organization embrace cloud applications without fear, visit sonicwall.com slash CAS.